What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the coolest little thing I've been doing to make sure that I have easy, delicious meals ready when I need them. There's not many things in life better than a burger, but when we make the right type of burgers and we do it the correct way, we can easily eat like champs, all while slimming down, building muscle, and overall getting closer to our goal. That's right, today we are gonna make anabolic patty melts for the entire week, and not only is this gonna be stupid simple, but absolutely delicious, and something that when those cravings come and knocking, you're gonna be glad you have ready to go. And for more delicious, healthy, high protein, diet friendly recipes, don't forget my cookbook is available at the first link in the description box, which has every recipe from the channel broken down in an easy to use guide that fits right in your pocket. Plus you get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free, so all the fun you're having in the kitchen doesn't have to end. Link down below, if you grab it, I promise you won't regret it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all are ready another epic video on your way, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! And I'm promising you guys, this is one of the easiest meal preps you're ever gonna do. So we're gonna start with a mixing bowl, and I'm gonna start by taking two pounds, or 996 grams of 96% lean ground beef and tossing it down in. And in order to get this beef to actually taste good, we gotta add some seasoning. So I'm gonna start with two grams of kosher salt. We're gonna do two grams of onion powder, two grams of garlic powder, about a gram of black pepper, and then to bring it all together, about 30 grams of Worcestershire sauce. And then once we got all the seasonings in here, I'm just gonna go in by hand and mix everything up, and make certain that all of those seasonings permeate every gram of our beef. All right, so at this point, what we need to do is take our two pounds of ground beef and split it into eight patties. The best way to do this is just pull out a little bit at a time. I'm gonna set it on a plate that's on top of a food scale, and I'm gonna weigh each of these balls out to 112 grams. And after adding a little more ground beef to it, we got it to the perfect weight. I'm just gonna set it off to a corner, and now I'm just gonna keep weighing these out until I have all eight of our patties. Okay, so we have our ground beef all pattied up. We busted out the trusty RJF cutting board, and now we just wanna form these into patties. But what we're gonna be doing, we don't wanna do a traditional circular patty. We're gonna do more of an oval shape. So what I like to do is actually sit these down, use my hand, and mold it into the oval that I want. Remember, we need these to be a certain shape in order to fit our pita bun. So I want it to be a little wider and a little longer and flatter than a traditional patty. And you can check this out and basically see what I'm going with here. We want it thin, it's gonna cook faster and we want it to be an oval shape just like that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of these. All right, folks, we got everything pattied up. Now we gotta give these a good fry. There's multiple ways to do this. You can use the tabletop grill I like to do. You can use a George Foreman, but I'm gonna go with what I think most people are gonna have to do, which is just use a skillet. So I'm just gonna take the largest one I got, hit it with a little nonstick. What I'm gonna do is fry each of these patties for about two to three minutes each side. I'll be able to fit about three at a time in my skillet, and I should be able to have all of these whipped up and cooked in about 10, 15 minutes. And here we go, people. We got all of our patties finished. And from here, the rest is really easy. But first, I'm starving. I need some protein. And I don't want to eat these patties now. This is for meal prep. So what I'm going to do is grab me one of the best tasting protein bars on the market, the Anabar. Then I'm going to open it up and take a look at the wares. Covered in a coating of milk chocolate. Easily broken in half. We got a soft candy bar-like texture in the middle. And honestly, after having one, you won't want anything else. If you want to try the best tasting protein bar on the market with all the hype, go to FinalBossFormas.com. Use code RJF10. You're going to save money and you're going to absolutely love everything you get. All flavors should be back in stock within like the next week or so and Anna Butter will be relaunching too. So stay tuned because all that amazing stuff will be back momentarily. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the prep. All right, folks, the rest of this is stupid simple. We're going to set our patties off to the side for now and I'm going to grab a pack of Joseph's Lavish Flatbread Pitas. Now, I want you guys to take a look at these because this probably has the best macros of any piece of bread that I've ever looked at in my entire life. One pita is only 60 calories, one and a half grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs with four grams of fiber, and six grams of protein. And you should be able to grab it at any Walmart or even on Amazon.com. So all we're gonna do is take four of our pitas, sit them out on a cutting board, and then what we're gonna do is take a knife and cut each one in half right down the middle, just like that. And now that we got all these cut in half, let me show you just how easy the rest of this is. All I'm gonna do is open the pita up, grab one of the patties, 
and place it right in the middle. And then what I wanna do now is take a slice of thin cut Swiss cheese. I use the Sargento brand, it's only 40 calories. I'm gonna cut it in two. Then I wanna tuck half of it on this side, letting it fold over. Then I will take the other half and place it on this side. Then once we've done that, all I'm gonna do is pinch these sides, fold them up under, make it hug to the actual patty, sit it down, and boom. We have an easy, compact patty melt that is high in protein and will fit right into our diets. What we need to do once we get it to this point is take some plastic wrap, sit it down, place our patty melt right in the middle, fold the plastic wrap over, get it sealed in here with no air exposure, and bingo. Our patty melt is now good to go. What I recommend you do, if you know you're gonna eat it within the next couple days, you can just sit this in the fridge and microwave it for 60 seconds and it's gonna be perfect to consume on any of those days. But in my opinion, the best way to do it for ultimate flavor is to simply take these, put them in your freezer, and then right when it's time to eat, you put it in the microwave anywhere from two to three minutes, it's gonna thaw out completely, you're gonna have a fresh burger with melted cheese, a nice little hand wrap so you don't get dirty, and overall a perfect, healthy, anabolic meal that you can have on the go. That's my ultimate recommendation, but do with this information as you will. Now, let me make the rest of these patties. And boom, people, would you take a look at this? We got eight of our anabolic patty melts ready to go. I went ahead because I needed a good thumbnail. I did microwave them all so that cheese was melty, but you guys know the drill. You wrap them up or you place them in meal prep containers, you sort them out, and you eat them as you need them. The majority of people fail on diets because they don't prepare. They don't have easy, healthy, physique-enhancing options at the ready. But when you do something like this, and you take that little bit of time to put in the work in the kitchen, once you start seeing your body change, that weight's falling off, you start building a little bit of muscle, you're feeling Feeling good, you're looking good, you're sleeping better, then you'll realize really quickly that all this little bit of work was worth it in the big picture. If you guys have enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it or maybe even a new idea, please, for me, hit that thumbs up button, helps the channel out more than you know. Leave a comment, what do you wanna see me make? Do you like these meal prep style videos? If you do, I'll make more of them. And hit me with a subscription if you are not subscribed. Now, before these get cold, I think it's time to try them out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get down to business. But first, I gotta give a shout out to the apparel sponsor of the channel, Young LA. Ever since I exclusively started wearing Young LA, all my lifts have increased by 30%, and my Tinder matches are up an astounding 200%. It's game-changing stuff. I got on the perfect tee in black with the straight bottom, and I'm pairing that with the block party shorts in blue, which overall, I think this outfit and fit in general is fire, which is what's gonna happen if you go to youngla.com and place an order, is you're gonna find a ton of options that go together that are gonna step up your wardrobe. When you look better, you feel better, you're happier, you perform better. And honestly, guys, like, no BS. I know that I'm sponsored here and I gotta tell you good things, but I wouldn't do that if I wasn't addicted. I literally have gotten rid of everything else I wear. This is exclusively what I wear now and I've never been happier about my style and how I look as someone that was never into that stuff. They make it extremely easy. So head over to youngla.com, use code RJF. You're gonna save money, you're gonna support the channel, and I guarantee you are gonna love what you get. Follow me on Instagram at the Remington James if you wanna see the try-ons, you wanna know the announcements of things are launching and all that because this stuff sells out quick. So do that, you're gonna love it, I guarantee it. So anyways, into these patty melts here, let me grab this one right off the top. You can see what we've created here is perfect. We got the pita, which is like a nice little hand wrap, keeps your hands clean. You got the melted cheese up top, the burger right in the middle, and honestly, what's more convenient to eat than a sandwich? So having these ready to go when you need them could be the game changer that changes your life. So here we go, three, two, one, let's get it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. Right now, we literally just have the meat, the cheese, and the wrap. Pretty simple. I find eating this by itself with the seasonings and the way we did the burger up is perfect. But if you want to, there ain't nothing wrong with adding a little bit of your favorite sauce to each one of these. I just wouldn't do it before you wrap them up or put them in a meal prep container because they're going to get soggy that way. So I recommend do it exactly how I did it and add your sauces later. You're gonna be in a good spot. And for the moment of truth, in just one of our melts, what you get for the entire thing, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with is only two 216 calories, eight grams of fat, 30 grams of protein, six grams of carbs with two grams of fiber. For a quick and easy grab and go meal, this is about as easy as it gets. Pair this with a scoop of Final Boss Greens or whatever your green supplement is, and you literally have yourself a complete meal. When it comes to losing weight, building muscle, and keeping that weight off, it all comes down to consistency. And the easiest way to be consistent is to have healthy anabolic meals ready to go when you don't necessarily have time to cook and those cravings come a knocking. Putting in a little bit of that work on a Sunday to make meals for the entire week is one of the most surefire ways to see success on your diet. When you fail to prepare, then you better prepare to fail. And with recipes like this or any other one on my cookbook, you're going to be putting your best foot forward. And here we go, folks. We are down to the final bite. And the best part is I don't even have to wash my hands afterwards. We're going to chalk that as a bonus point for this one. So here we go. Send her home. Mm. 
and boom, it really is that easy. If you decide to make this uh, recipe meal prep right here, make sure you take some photos and tag me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, wherever you are social at, and let me know what you think. And as always, if you have my cookbook, this recipe has been added in there and it's been updated. So go get your updated copy. If you don't have it yet, you can hit the link in my description to have the best dang cookbook on the market in your pocket. Appreciate you guys as always. I'm gonna go wrap these up and save them for later. And when I get hungry, I'm gonna grab myself one and keep my day of moving. I appreciate you guys so much. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Comment down below, helps the algorithm. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I think today is officially day five and Greg still hasn't accepted the boxing match. I don't got my hopes up, but who knows? Something still may come of this yet. You guys rock, appreciate you as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam, bam, baby. I'm gonna take my patties and skedash.